Hello, I'm Jyotish Novak, and I'll be teaching you how to use meditation to improve your health and well-being. I've been practicing and teaching meditation for over 30 years, and am the spiritual director of Ananda, a worldwide network of communities and meditation groups based on the ancient tradition of yoga meditation. I'm also the author of a best-selling book on meditation called How to Meditate. In this meditation therapy tape, I'm going to give you techniques of visualization, affirmation, and meditation that are extremely effective for curing the root causes of disease or poor health. When we are ill, we tend to look outside ourselves for both the cause and the cure of our problem. In this tape, I'll give you a new approach. I'll lead you through some powerful consciousness-changing techniques that will give you back control over your own health. There are four sections to this tape. In the first, understanding the problem, I'll help you see how to work with health problems in a totally new way. In the second section, visualization, I'll give you a technique for sending healing energy to your whole body. The third section is a guided meditation that will allow you to access higher levels of your own being. This is the most important part of what you'll learn. Meditation helps us change energy patterns in the deep levels of our consciousness. Only when we do that will we see lasting changes occur outwardly. As you progress, you will probably want to meditate longer than the time provided on the tape. Just hit your pause button until you're ready to start again. Then finally, I'll give you an affirmation and some exercises that you can practice during the day. Meditation can help you discover the underlying causes of disease and achieve health and vibrant vitality. I've personally seen meditation and deep prayer bring about cures that seemed miraculous. Our problems are not random events. We draw them to us through a process of subtle magnetism. All life is a school, and everything that happens to us is a lesson. Illness is nature's way of showing us that we're out of harmony with universal law, just as injuring ourselves by jumping out of a window shows us that we can't defy the laws of gravity. If you really want to root out disease consciousness, start by understanding that your illness is showing you that you need to change. The typical solution, suppressing symptoms with medication, is helpful, even necessary at times. But for lasting health, you must also deal with the underlying causes and the personal changes they require. Otherwise, you'll have a tendency to repeat the same problems again and again. So the first step in a cure is to accept, even to welcome the illness. Then try to see what lessons you need to learn. Poor health, especially chronic illness, begins first in the mind and only later expresses itself in the body. The mind can create disease even when there is no problem on a physical level whatsoever. The testing of new drugs always has to take into account the placebo effect. I recently heard of a test for a new chemotherapy drug where more than half of the people had their hair fall out. The surprise they were in the control group, and their injections were only saline solution. 
But remember, if mind power can create disease, it can also cure it. Our thoughts on both conscious and subconscious levels program our brains and bodies. Thoughts that are repeated create new circuits, even new cells in the brain. Each thought subtly trains the brain toward health or illness, toward happiness or depression, until they eventually produce strong subconscious patterns. Most people passively accept their subconscious tendencies, but a person of very strong willpower can command himself to change instantly. For true health, we need to change our mental patterns from disease-inducing to disease-blocking and replace unhealthy habits with good ones. By making appropriate changes, you can create a vibrant, powerful consciousness that repels illness just as an umbrella shields you from the rain. How can we change? Change, by its very nature, requires us to introduce something new. Don't dwell on past problems. That just reinforces them. Concentrate instead on a positive quality that is the polar opposite of the problem. The prayer of St. Francis states this beautifully. Assume for a moment that this prayer is teaching you how to remold unhealthy mental patterns. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. If you want to have a healthy life, affirm health, and act as if you have it already, positive thoughts create a flow of supportive energy from the universal source of prana or life force. Usually we draw upon this without conscious awareness or control, but we can learn to use the power of our will to increase and direct its flow. One of yoga's great gifts to the world is a body of techniques to control and direct this energy. That's what we'll be using in a few minutes. You can send this prana to any body part by visualizing and mentally directing a flow of light or energy to that part. A friend of ours who knew these techniques was hiking alone on a glacier when he sprained his ankle so badly that he could barely stand. Knowing that he had to get back or freeze to death, he placed his hands on his ankle and visualized healing energy flooding the injured area. After 20 minutes, he could walk and was able to hike back to safety. Meditation and inner silence increases our awareness of the subtle forces within us. It has long been known that meditation gives mental vigor, strengthens the immune system, and reduces stress on the heart and circulation. New evidence shows that regular meditation can change the very structure of the brain itself, enhancing those areas that produce a sense of well-being and decreasing activities in regions associated with anxiety, fear, and depression. Meditation also helps us learn better control over our thoughts and behavior. We can, for instance, learn to think positively about ourselves and others and avoid negative thoughts like poison, because that's what they are. We can decide to be even-minded and cheerful and we can change basic mental patterns that have a profound effect on our health. Being in control of our thoughts helps us develop a healthy lifestyle in critical areas such as diet, exercise, and proper cleansing of the body. It is important to adopt a diet full of foods with vitality, fruits and vegetables, avoid or limit meat and highly processed foods. 
eat less, and fast occasionally to cleanse the body on a cellular level. Yogis often recommend fasting on juice one day a week, or for a deeper cleanse, three days once a month. Get regular exercise at least four days a week, and have fun doing it. A lot more could be said about this topic, but I want to come back now to the focus of this tape. Establishing a habit of daily meditation is the most important of all. Practice the techniques I'm about to give you every morning and evening until they become an ingrained part of your day. On the spiritual level, deep meditation connects us with the divine essence that resides at the center of each of us. By finding our connection with God, we feel a sense of kinship with all life. We see those things that connect rather than separate us from others. Emphasizing connections rather than differences has profound effects on our relationships and on our inner sense of well-being. And meditation can help you find a vibrant inner joy. A joy that is always there in the background of your mind, even in the most difficult circumstances. This inner joy, not the whimsical events of this world, becomes the true source of happiness and fulfillment. Lasting changes like these don't come immediately, and meditation is not some quick fix. But when done deeply and regularly, Meditation will help improve your life in ways that you can hardly imagine. Now let's get on with the practice of meditation. Paramahansa Yogananda, whose teachings I practice, defined meditation as concentration on God or on one of his qualities, such as light, love, or joy. Meditation is not thinking about problems, but rather letting go and relaxing into the silence that resides deep in each of us. Only in deep stillness can we see who we really are. I will guide you through a simple meditation, starting with visualization, and then going into inner stillness, where our consciousness can expand outward to infinity. After the guided meditation, there will be time for silent meditation. We will end the session with an affirmation designed to send healing life force to every cell of the body. Then we will practice an exercise to help reestablish healthy patterns on a subconscious level. Let's get started. This visualization will help you focus your mind, essential for meditation. Visualization also helps us manifest our goals. In this case, good health. There is a sound reason why world-class athletes use visualization to prepare them for their performances. First, we need to relax our body and mind. Sit upright, either on a cushion or on a straight back chair. Keep your chin parallel with the floor, your spine straight and away from the back of the chair. Now we'll practice a technique to get rid of subconscious tension. Inhale and tense your whole body until it vibrates. Now throw the breath out and relax. Let's do that twice more. Inhale and tense. Throw the breath out and relax completely. Now once more. Inhale and tense. <sighs> Throw the breath out and relax. To help relax and concentrate the mind, we'll now do a technique called regular breathing. Again, keep your eyes closed. Inhale slowly to a count of eight. Hold your breath and concentrate your attention at the point between the eyebrows for a count of eight. 
Now exhale slowly for a count of eight. Let's do that again. Inhale. Concentrate and hold. Exhale. Now one last time, but this time we'll use a count of 12. Inhale for a count of 12. Hold for the same length of time. Exhale for a count of 12. Now we'll do a deep relaxation for the whole body. Become aware of your feet and relax them completely. Close your eyes. You can think of space or light in that area. Now relax your calves. Relax behind the knees. Let go of all tension in the upper legs. Relax your hip and abdomen. The abdomen is a problem area for many people. So concentrate on letting go of all tension in that area. Now relax your hands and forearms, your upper arms, your chest and shoulders. Be sure to let go of all tension and any sense of burden in your shoulders. Now relax your neck, your jaw, your tongue, your lips. We carry a surprising amount of stress in our faces. Relax completely, feeling all tension melt away. Relax your eyes, your eyelids, and your forehead. Now relax and focus your mind at the point between the eyebrows, the seat of higher consciousness. Let's begin our visualization. Keep your eyes steady and closed and your mind relaxed. See in the forehead a globe of golden light at the point between the eyebrows. Try to visualize it clearly. Perceive this energy, this life force, as both very powerful and intelligent. It knows where you need life's healing light. Now see it spreading slowly until it illuminates your whole brain. Let it descend down your neck. Down through the length of your spine and spread out to fill your whole body. See it entering every cell, driving out all darkness and bringing vitality and strength. Visualize your entire body gently pulsing with light. If you are having difficulty with a specific area of the body, see golden light concentrating in that area, healing all that needs healing, strengthening that which is weak. Feel your whole body full of health, energy, and vitality. Now slowly, let the golden light become concentrated once again at the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye. Continue concentrating in this area as we prepare for deep meditation.
Check to see that you're still completely relaxed. Now become aware of the breath as it flows in and out of the nostrils. Try to actually feel the movement of air. Mentally observe the air flowing in and out. Don't try to control the breath, just watch it. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to observing the breath. If you would like, you can mentally say Hong as the breath flows in and saw as it flows out again. These words are an ancient mantra that helps calm and concentrate the life force. Gradually feel the breath higher and higher in the nostrils until you are observing it at the spiritual eye. We'll continue to silently watch the breath in this manner for some time. Now exhale completely and concentrate your attention at the point between the eyebrows. If you see light there, just observe it. Let go of all thoughts, all anxiety, all plans. Be completely centered in the here and now. Hold this state of silent meditation and try to deepen it. Go as deeply as you can into the silence. Connect with your own deepest self. If you would like, you can pause the tape here. Now once again, return to body consciousness. We will end our meditation with an affirmation. Concentrate deeply on the words and the meaning behind the words. Send this message to your subconscious mind. We'll repeat it three times. Infinite light is within and without. I command the light to fill my brain. I command the light to fill my body. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. Darkness and illness disappear. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. I am light. I am light. Keep your eyes closed. Let's repeat this again a little more softly but with deep concentration. Infinite light is within and without. I command the light to fill my brain. I command the light to fill my body. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. Darkness and illness disappear. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. 
I am light. I am light. Now silently, but with deep concentration, looking upward into the spiritual eye, the seat of superconsciousness. Infinite light is within and without. I command the light to fill my brain. I command the light to fill my body. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. Darkness and illness disappear. Every thought is full of light. Every cell is full of light. I am light. I am light. You can repeat this affirmation as often as you would like. It is especially effective just after waking up in the morning or just before sleep at night. Let us end with a couple of simple exercises you can do during the day to help you integrate what you've learned on a cellular, nonverbal level. For now, you can practice these where you are, but they are more effective if we can be outside to draw energy from the air and from the sun. So I'll go outside in the fresh air to demonstrate. This exercise will help you send life force to your cells and fill them with strength and vitality. First, we'll inhale and tense the whole body, but we'll use a special double breath. Inhale with a short and long breath through the nostrils like this. Now tense the whole body and exhale with a double breath through the mouth and nose. Relax for a moment and feel the energy flooding through your whole body. Let's do that again, inhaling as deeply as you can. <sighs> now we'll send energy to the cells by inhaling and tensing the muscles upward in a wave-like motion, starting at the feet and then relaxing downward in a wave-like motion as we exhale. Use the double breath that we've just learned. And as you inhale, spread the arms out to the sides and then back again to the front as you exhale. I'll demonstrate the arm movements. Let's do this three times together. Exhale and relax down in a wave. Once more, inhale. Tense upward. Exhale and relax downward. We'll end with one more simple exercise. This is similar to the regular breathing that we learned before. But this time, we'll do it while we're walking. Knowing this technique, anytime you're walking, you can consciously fill your body with vitality and strength. It is very simple. Just inhale slowly to a count of eight, hold your breath for a count of eight, and exhale for a count of eight. You can use whatever count is comfortable for you, as long as the inhalation, holding, and exhalation are the same length. Do this for several minutes at a time and consciously draw vitality from the air, strength from the sun, color from the trees and flowers. Feel as you do this that all nature is your friend and ally in your quest for perfect health. Goodbye for now and may God bless you.